doing one of my inkings here, you know, some of these tips you can apply to making your own manga, whether you're making it digitally or traditionally, I'm going to be focusing on my cross hatching here. It's heavily inspired from what I've seen from other manga artists, i.e. say a tight Kubo from Bleach. You have your lines going from one end to the other, and then you kind of have another line doing the same thing, slightly tilted in a different angle, right? And then you kind of keep going back and forth. And you do it enough sometimes to form somewhat of a gradient in some cases. And then you just kind of apply as you see fit. Sometimes you just want to do a hatching like you saw me do after on the side of the neck. Or you kind of just keep going with a cross hatching. And I apply it to other parts of the drawing. Again, it kind of keeps things a little bit more dynamic. Adds some volume. You see me adding more lines to the hair. It's a little bit more hair strand lines instead. But that's where shading is. So that's how it works.